What an awesome day. It's a ferry ride away from Auckland city, just about 45 minutes. And there's this beautiful island called Waiheke Island. There's winery, there's beach. And uh, we, we rented a small villa overlooking the vineyard and walking distance to the beach. We cook every day. And today I'm gonna show you my top three best vineyard in Waiheke Island. And before that, let's celebrate and pop some bubbles. Check it out. And this is our home base in Waikiki Island. Where in the world that you have a winery? Right in front of the beach. Right? And there you go. Man of War. We are going to the tasting room in the restaurant. What a beautiful day. They say reality is often closer than we think But in reality it's closer than your mind can So we're gonna have the six wine at uh, $15 Right? And they told me that if you buy a wine more than $50 And you get the tasting for free So this is the Gravestone Sauvignon Blanc uh, A piece of grape food and uh, grape crisp And very bright Am I right? Well, hala, yeah, Chardonnay. Mm. A little bit of uh, smoky and uh, very bold wine. So this is our pink rosé. It's a Provence style rosé, so very light, so quite fruity. Mm. Tastes like summer. Pinot Gris. So this is an Alsace style Pinot Gris. Sweet. Tastes a little bit like whistling. Very fruity, honey, for, for Pinot Gris, it's a ninja. It's a spicy, very fruity, red wine, we can get a whole body. Mmm, very bold and powerful, eh? Shiraz is not always my favorite, but this one is quite nice. Yeah? This one is nice. This is all part with the Bordeaux. Blended grapes, mm, very rich and very flavor. It's not bad. So we got three bottles of white, all different kinds. And um, this place, the name, it's actually from the boat that the founding father of New Zealand, James Cook, who was in this boat. And there you go, the name of the winery, the ship that he came to New Zealand. Next stop, Obsidian Winery. Just want to show you guys, we are actually our villa is right over there. So it's pretty much two minutes drive and you can walk to this place. So good, so strategic. Small winery. Do some tasting. Hi. Very good. We would like to do some tasting. And what is this? So this is the obsidian volcanic glass. So oh. that's volcanic glass are coming from Mayor Island. They've been brought here from Maori. Um, they were just using it for tools and they think that can take off negative energy basically. Wow. And the winery is named after that rock. Definitely. Some Chardonnay. Mm. So beautiful, beautifully well balanced. This is a good one. And very affordable, it's only like 30 bucks. Is this the Estate Sierra 2017? 
Mm, the aroma is a little bit uh, peppery, very light body. And it has a little bit of a spicy finish to it. Vitreous 2016. A border blend. Oh, it's a border blend. It's yeah. a Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot. Cabernet Franc, Vitreous in Malbec. Ah. Mm, it has some uh, black fruit, a little bit spice. Uh, really well rounded. Mm, it's alright. Not my favorite. So this is a flagship reserve. Yes. Okay. That's the Euxalian. So pretty much the same blend than the Vitreous, this one. But you got a bit more Malbec into it. It has a very complex undertone and very, very full mouth feeling and uh, it's a very, very long taste. That's why it costs double. That's why it's the yeah, reserve. Rosé 2019, eh? Yes. Nice. So this one is a blend of 60% Tempranillo, 40% Merlot. So Tempranillo is a Spanish varietal that we got here. Super unusual. You only got Tempranillo in our vineyard. Really? Uh, yes. Mm, nice uh, rose petal aroma with a little bit of strawberry. And this is the perfect drink when you want to have in the afternoon uh, barbecue with your friend to start a beautiful lunch. I'm gonna tell you what I gotta do to make my dreams come true. Work hard, pray Next stop. more, dream big. Work hard, pray Dantalus more, dream big. Estate. I'm gonna tell you what I gotta do to make my dreams come true. Work hard, pray more, dream big. Work hard, pray more, dream big. Yeah. They say reality is often closer than we think. But reality is closer so than your mind. So basically, they, they have white and red. A good mixture of that. But your mind was ahead. And what are we having here? This is a sparkling wine. Okay. Um, yeah. Finally, we got some bubbles. Can you agree? They make it more like an Alsatian style, like a French Pinot Gris, where they come from. It's very nice, very... It's actually creamy. Oh, this is good. It's only like... I can't wait to find out how much this is. I like this. But, um, this is our rosé. Yeah. The rosé is made from Sauvignon Blanc and Syrah. And usually rosé is not made from this kind of grapes. They want to make it more unique so the flavor. It's bold and, uh, and yet it's food friendly. Nice. Right? So uh, this wine comes from... Let it pour! <laughs> This one comes from the Volga region, um, as Pinot doesn't really grow in our climate here. So, Oaxaca, they don't really grow Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is from the Marlboro region, so they, they actually get the grapes from a uh, Marlboro region for the Pinot Noir, they make it. But instead, um, it's pretty light and fruity. And uh, I think it's food friendly also, it's just a good one. Like for 50 bucks, this one is good.